Then finally, the last group we talked about, we're going to say amines. And since we're going to need some room guys to do this, I'm going to remove myself from the image so we have more room to work with. So amines, what the heck is an amine? Well, we're going to say an amine is a compound that has N and H, nitrogen and hydrogen, such as example NH3. Or it's a compound that has carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Example of that, we could have CH3, NH2. Okay, so just remember that. Amines are compounds with nitrogen and hydrogen or carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. We're going to say here that neutral amines, ones without charges, are considered to be weak bases. Examples, the two we just wrote, NH3 or CH3, NH2. Now, obviously, there are more than just these, but these are good two examples. We have ammonia and then methylamine, methylamine. The name even tells you that it's an amine. And we're going to say next that positive, positively charged amines are considered to be weak acids. So here we could have NH4 positive, which is ammonium. This is ammonia. So ammonium is positive, so it's a weak acid. Or CH3, NH3 positive. This would be methyl ammonium. Now, we saw a compound earlier when we talked about binary acids. That compound was HCN. Now, HCN has the characteristics of an amine, right? I said it was carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. But remember, you can't be a binary acid and a amine at the same time. So HCN, even though it has those three elements, is not an amine. It's not an amine. It is a binary acid. So make note of that. This is hydro cyanic acid, not an amine. So just make note of that, what an amine is. It usually has just N and H, or it could have H, C, and N. H, C, N, though, is not an amine. It's a binary acid. So look out for those characteristics. And if they give you the name, usually you'll see amine in the name in some way. That'll be a clear giveaway that you're dealing with an amine. Now, hopefully you guys have learned how to identify acids and bases now. Because again, it's imperative that you know how to identify them as either weak or strong. Because if you don't know that, you won't know how to calculate pH or anything else dealing with acid-base chemistry.